Hey everyone, it's Matt from Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews, and welcome to our ship tour aboard Freedom of the Seas. Freedom was the first ship in Royal Caribbean's Freedom class, and when introduced in 2006, she was the largest cruise ship in the world. That title has since been taken by Oasis-class ships, and the newer Quantum class is a bit larger also, but Freedom is still a very large ship. Freedom underwent Royal's Amplification Upgrade Program in 2020 and has many newer features. Here is a bottom-to-top tour of Freedom of the Seas. Let's check it out. Starting out on Deck 3, we find the Main Dining Room, or MDR as many refer to it. It's a three-story elegant dining room that can be accessed from Decks 4 and 5 also. The main dining room serves breakfast and dinner daily, along with lunch if at sea. Meals in the MDR are included in your cruise fare. The MDR in Freedom is also home to the Chef's Table dining experience, which does carry a surcharge. Just outside the MDR, you will find the Art Gallery, where you can view paintings that are available to purchase at different auction events. Next up is Focus. Focus is where you can purchase photos that were taken by the many ship photographers. Focus also sells various photo, video equipment, including GoPro cameras. Definitely the coolest place on the ship, Studio B is the ship's ice rink. Here you can attend spectacular ice shows put on by the ship's ice skating team. You can also go ice skating yourself here, which is what was happening during this recording. Studio B also hosts non-ice based events here also, including the Quest, the Red Party, Laser Tag, and other activities. The Royal Theatre is the last venue we find on Deck 3. This is another multiple level facility accessible from Deck 4 also. The Royal Theatre is home to Freedom's production shows. They also host other entertainment including musicians, comedians, magicians, and even sometimes jugglers. Heading up to Deck 4 we find Boleros. Polaris is where you'll find Cuban-inspired cocktails and great dancing music. One of my favorite spots on Freedom is Playmakers. Playmakers was added during the amplification program in his Royals Sports Bar concept. Here you will find many TVs, all tuned into sports events from around the world. There are a lot of games here to play including pool, foosball, and retro arcade games. Beyond the drinks though, don't miss the food. For a small charge, you can get bar favorites like burgers, onion towers, nachos, and pig wings. You can also reserve an area for parties called the Owner's Box. Just beyond Playmakers is the Casino Royale. Here you will find all your favorite table games including Blackjack, Texas Hold'em, and Craps. And you will find many, many slot machines. Next on deck 4 is the Schooner Bar. This is Royal Caribbean's nautical themed bar you can find on every ship in the fleet. This is a popular spot for singing along to a piano player or playing some trivia. Make sure you don't miss the Lavender Daiquiri, one of my favorite cocktails on the ship. 
Deck 4 is also home to Izumi. At Izumi, you can enjoy your favorite sushi at the sushi bar or a full hibachi dining experience. Another cocktail favorite, the Japanese strawberry can be found here. Dining at Izumi does have an upcharge. Don't forget on deck four, there is an outdoor promenade where you can find some great views. It is also the boarding and disembarkation deck. Now on to deck five, this is one of the main hubs of the ship. Guest services can be found here. The R bar is a great place to grab a martini or a glass of champagne. We then find ourselves at the entrance to the Royal Promenade. The first thing you'll find on the left is Next Cruise, where they're willing to take your deposit on your next cruising adventure. The market is a great place to get beachwear and other trendy clothing. Shore excursions to book some fun for port days. Cafe promenade for regular and specialty coffee, along with complimentary treats served all day. Grab some ice cream at Ben and Jerry's. Port Merchants is your go-to for duty-free alcohol, cigarettes, and sundries. You can find someone a very nice gift at Regalia Fine Jewelry and Fine Watches. They carry watch brands such as Citizen, Invicta, and Tag Heuer here. One of my favorite places on the ship, Vintages, is Freedom's Wine Bar. This is a great place to sit back and listen to a musician while enjoying a wine flight. Bull and Bear is the ship's pub. The logo and souvenir shop is where you go to get all of your Royal Caribbean and Freedom of the Seas branded merchandise. Sorrento's is where you go when you need some pizza. 
It's open a majority of the day and late into the evening. Sorrento's is included with your cruise fare. Go to Solera for all your beauty, makeup, and fragrance needs. The collection is your designer brand store where you will find high-end clothing, handbags, and sunglasses. Toward the front of the ship on Deck 5, you will find the library and card room. This is a relaxing and quiet space. And all the way forward on Deck 5 is the Star Lounge. This is a multi-purpose venue where you can find musicians and bands playing, attend a party, or play some bingo. Now jumping all the way up to Deck 11, we find the Windjammer. Windjammer is the ship's buffet. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Here you will find all kinds of different foods to enjoy. My favorites are the Indian curry dishes. There is also a full service bar called the Plaza Bar when you first walk in. Just off the Windjammer is the Chops Steakhouse Restaurant. You'll find prime grade steaks and other great food here. Chops is a specialty restaurant that comes at an additional cost. Giovanni's Kitchen is Royal Caribbean's newest Italian restaurant concept. Here you'll find fresh pasta, wood oven pizzas, and great desserts like our favorite, Going Bananas. It also has great views. Giovanni's is also an upcharge specialty restaurant. Moving out to the pool deck, you will find El Loco Fresh. El Loco is a complimentary spot to grab Tex-Mex favorites such as tacos, burritos, and quesadillas. El Loco also has a full service bar. Splashaway Bay is the kids' water park. This is where I would have spent all my time back then. This is the main pool area. It has two pools, three large hot tubs, a giant screen, and plenty of lounge chairs. 
This is a very popular place to be during days at sea. Though, I like it in the evening for swimming when it's less crowded, and sometimes they show movies up on that large screen. You'll also find soft serve ice cream on the pool deck. The Lime and Coconut is Royal's new pool bar concept, added during the ship's amplification. I love the frozen mojitos you can get here. The solarium is an adult-only area with a pool and two cantilevered hot tubs that extend off the side of the ship. All the way forward on deck 11 is the Vitality at Sea Fitness Center. Here, you will find all the cardio and weight resistance equipment you need for a great workout. They also have exercise classes and health seminars here. Now on to deck 12. Here we find Johnny Rockets, a great place to grab a burger, onion rings, and a shake. It has outdoor and indoor dining. Johnny Rockets is an upcharge restaurant, though not as expensive as other specialty restaurants. On deck 12, you will also find Adventure Ocean, Adventure Ocean is Royal Caribbean's Kids Club. This area was renovated during the amplification process. Kids can come here free of charge during the morning, afternoon, and evening sessions. There are late night sessions also after 10 p.m., but they do have an hourly rate. There is a nursery that comes at an hourly rate also, plus play spaces for toddlers, and as you can see here, a video arcade. Now up to the sports deck up on 13. There is a full-size basketball court where soccer and pickle are also played. Ping pong is also a favorite of Ryan's. Freedom has some great rock wall climbing. Ryan loves to make it all the way to the top. There are also two water slides on the sports deck called the Perfect Storm. These water slides do extend over the side of the ship. They also have the Flowrider Surf Simulator, which was a royal first when the ship was launched. Now over to the front of the ship on deck 13. 
when the main pool area is just too crowded, or you want a more relaxed, quiet space in the sun, this is a great place that you can almost always find empty loungers. Here you will find the Freedom Dunes Mini Golf Course. Freedom Dunes has nine holes and has lots of interesting obstacles between you and that hole in one. Let's keep moving up. Now on deck 14, this is the Viking Crown Lounge. It's typically a relaxed place to be during the day, but late at night it does turn into the ship's nightclub. It is also home to the Oliver Twist Bar. This is the Diamond Club Lounge on deck 14. This is only accessible by members of the Crown and Anchor Society at diamond and above levels. There is a diamond concierge to help guests, and snacks are served at breakfast and in the evening. Drinks are also served in the evening. The Diamond Club Lounge also has a nice outdoor seating area. And on the other side of 14, you'll find the Suite Lounge. This is an exclusive upscale lounge reserved for those staying in concierge level suites and for members of the Pinnacle Club in the Crown and Anchor Society. There is another concierge here and they serve snacks and drinks just like in the Diamond Club. It also has a very nice outdoor seating area that we enjoy. And our last deck is 15, the highest on the ship, just up these stairs from the Viking Crown Lounge, you will find the Skylight Meeting Room. This room is typically used for religious ceremonies and services. Freedom of the Seas is a spectacular ship, especially after its amplification. We really hope you enjoyed this ship tour of freedom from the bottom to the top. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. Also, check out the rest of the Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews channel and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future cruising content. This is Matt from Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews. Happy cruising, everybody.